So um, the only way that I recommend identifying tier one needs in academics and social emotional behavior is through universal screening. So when we talk about universal screening, we're really meaning um, looking at data for all students multiple times a year um, that looks that look, can look different um, and at different grade levels. But really what we're doing is preventatively um, identifying both individual needs for individual students, which obviously um, may or may not include tier one supports, um, and also identifying group needs, which is what we'll focus more on today as we think about universal tier in general. Um, but it's really important that we think about universal screening as essential to ensuring that we have a system that's really focused on prevention and early intervention. If we have a system that waits for um, individual teachers or family members um, to to um, to refer students for additional support or to identify when there might be tier one needs. Um, we've flipped to a fully reactive system and we no longer have this preventative system in place where we can prevent small um, achievement gaps or small skill gaps from becoming larger achievement gaps um, that will take longer and will become more difficult to, um, to remediate. And so universal screening is really essential in this area in order to um, in order to really identify strong um, tier one universal needs as, as well as to build a preventative system overall.